What's up guys? How are you? I hope you're great. So today I'm actually going to show you one of the most important things in GIS that is clipping. Maybe you've downloaded your satellite image, let us say Landsat 8, Sentinel 2 or whatever it may be and you want to clip it and customize it to your study area. I'm going to show it to you today. Just watch out and continue watching this tutorial. Finish it, you will have learned that. Let us start. So what you do first is to create a new project and then I come here to new project and then save as clipping. Yeah. So after creating a new project, I come to layer, add layer, add raster layer, and then I navigate to the directory where I have my raster file and then I open it. Then I say add. And I close this. As you can see, this is a Landsat 8 image. Let me make an RGB composite and then you see. Yeah, so this is my raster file. This is Lake Victoria. This is Kampala. As you can see, this is my Vera. so this is a Landsat 8 file and then I want to clip out my study area which is Kampala so what I'm going to do next is to import the shape file of Kampala come to layer add layer and then add vector layer then I navigate to where I have my shape file it's here then Kampala and then I open it and then I add it so as you can see let me try to zoom in so this is my shape file and then i want to clip out my study area from this raster file so what i do i come to raster and then extraction and then clip raster by mask layer so when I come here, and then I will input the input layer. This is the Victoria, and then the mask layer is this Kampala. And actually, it is very important to note at this step that it is always good to have both connect systems of the input layer and the mask layer the same. Yeah, I hope that is fine. So I can come here, and then I may assign a specify no data value to the output bands. But since I don't have a no data value here, I will leave it empty. And then I take this match the extent of the clip raster to the extent of the mask layer. Yeah. And then after doing that, I can choose to save it to memory, or I can save it to what to a temporary file. Yeah, so I leave the rest as defaults and then I run. Yeah, so you give it some time and then after a few minutes, it has actually clipped out. Let me try to make an RGB composite here. So this is three, two, and then one. Yeah, so as you can see, this is Kampala, this is my shape file. And then uh, this is what I have clipped out. So I'm actually now able to proceed on processing and analyzing my image on only my study area, which is Kampala.